hello friends welcome to this channel so today in this video we will discuss about creating an aws account for free so to create this particular account you would need your credit card or debit card which is mandatory or as a prerequisite you are supposed to have your debit card or credit card ready before you start creating your aws account so how come it is free while you are using your debit card or credit card aw has an offer to make wherein if you use couple of instance which is claim to be free for next 12 months then they would not charge you for any anything in case if you cross that limit then it would start putting the charges on your credit card or the debit card that you have used to create so be careful when you start using aws because you have already given your credit card or debit card but if you follow all the instruction that i am going to give you in this session then you can easily start using aws for next 12 months without paying any charges okay great let's begin to start with uh, let's visit amazon web service website aws.amazon.com on the home page of your website click on create an aws account in here you are supposed to pass your email id as well as give a new account name now you have to verify your email after verification we have to create a new password confirm it and then continue once you go to the next page it would ask you whether it is professional account or free account so choose it as personal account since it's going to be your personal account enter your phone number your reason your address and finally here click on this to agree the customer act so you can definitely click on this and then open the agreement and go through it nothing to worry but it's always better to look at the agreement because they keep changing the agreement every now and then so please go through it and then once you have gone through it select to agree and click on create account and continue so in the third screen of your aws sign up page it would ask you for your credit card or your debit card detail so let me enter mine expiry date holder name and cvv number so and i would say use the current address itself as my billing address and add in case if you want to show it for your tax saving and then you know if you want to actually mention it you can go ahead and then click on yes and enter your pen number if you don't have it you can verify and add so you would see that you would receive an otp to the register number of your credit card or debit card let me enter my otp that i have received since it's an indian card so it's going to deduct only 2 rupees in case if you have a card from outside then it may deduct it may deduct about 1 dollar fees for your account but whatever deduction that that it does right it would send it back to you this is just to validate if your credit card or debit card is valid and then usable okay so let me enter the otp and click on next so that means my card is now validated and it's asking for my cell phone number so again enter the cell phone number enter the captcha that you seen out here and click on send sms or otherwise you can also request for a voice call so that it will send you a voice call in which you will get an otp for verification so let me send an sms 
now let me enter the OTP and simply click on verify code so my account has been now validated and verified in here be careful when you choose this detail always click on the free plan the basic plan that you have include all the account 24 by 7 services etc do not click on any of other plans if you if you click on it then it will start deducting you know the amount that you see there okay so let me click on free basic plan and then in the screen it will ask you to submit your role and your interest in here you can probably skip this or click on submit to move on okay so since you are in this screen your account is actually created and your account is already validated all you have to do now is click on sign in to the console here enter your email id and your password that you choose there you go you have successfully created an aws free account now okay so in here there are a lot of free videos which are available for you to start with aws amazon web services now here if you click on this all services you can see all these services which are provided by aws so that's it for this video i hope you all guys like this video if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below thank you for watching bye and have a nice day